Welcome back to another Mr. Lee Teaches YouTube tutorial. Today I'm outside to introduce this video because we're going to be talking about My Maps. Uh, Google has a My Maps where you can create custom maps right there in Google Maps and include pictures, uh, videos, descriptions, all sorts of great things and uh, use that for any class project, social studies, science, math, English. Uh, the possibilities are endless, so let's get to work. Okay, to get started, we're going to go to mymaps.google.com, and that's maps with an S, so it's plural, google.com, and you'll see maps, if you have any maps, if you've created or people have shared with you, uh, you'll see them here. If not, we're going to create a new one by clicking on create a new map right here, the big red button, and it's going to bring us up a map of the United States because we're in the United States. It kind of recognizes where you are located in the world. And the very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to give it a title because there's nothing worse than having a whole bunch of untitled maps and untitled documents and untitled titled Google Sheets. So the first thing you should always do is title your documents. And we're going to call this one Favorite College Town. And we could have added a description, and if you're going to do this for a class, I probably would have put a description. But for now, I'm just going to give you a quick overview. Um, we already have one layer, and I'm going to title that layer. So instead of untitled layer, I'm going to click on that, and it's going to let me do the layer name. And I'm going to type in stadium and save. And now i got to go find some stadiums. And so I'm going to come down here, and I'm going to find Clemson. There's Townville, Anderson, Sandy Springs, Clemson. And I'm just using my scroll wheel, but you also have an up and a down arrow, uh, a zoom and a zoom out on your map. So as I scroll in, I find the stadium, and that's the stadium I want. And I want to edit my name because I want it spelled right. There we go. And in order to drop a pin, we come up here to our toolbar and I can literally drop the pin by clicking it at a marker and I'm not clicking and dragging I'm just clicking it once and then I'm clicking where I want it to go so I click there and I have my point I'm going to call this Death Valley and I'm going to give it a description And then I'm also going to add some pictures to this. So I click on the add an image or a video and it pulls me up. And this is just like inserting an image from any other Google Doc. Uh, we can upload them. We can webcam them. We can image URL. Uh, your photos is, is your, your photos.google.com, uh, your Google Drive, all of that stuff. I'm going to upload a picture real quick that I already have downloaded that I want to use for this. So here it is. I'm going to use that one. I'm going to open it. And there is the image that I wanted. Now, I can delete this image if I'm not happy with it, or I can add more by clicking on the plus. So I'm going to click the plus, and this time I'm going to add a video. So I'm going to come over here to YouTube search. I could also upload a video that I have, or if I have a, a video in Google Drive, um, I can put that in as well. But I'm going to do a YouTube search, and I'm going to do Clemson Tigers Hype, because I want to find their hype video. And let's see, 2018... Here we go, 2018 ACC Championship. So we're going to click that one, and that's going to be the video that goes in here. And so now I have my picture and a video. And I can add more and more of these as I want, and I can also add a lot more text to this description, but you get the point at this point. So I'm going to save this. Now, once we hit save, we have some more options down here. We can change the style. I can make this orange for Clemson. I can change it to a star or a parking decal or a shopping bag. Uh, I'll leave it a star. You can also pick from all kinds of different uh, icons by clicking the more icons. But for now, this is good enough. And we can also edit this. So if I wanted to go in and edit the description again, I can do that. I can also delete it if I'm not happy with it. So I'm just going to minimize that. And let's drop, let's make another layer. So this is stadiums. Let's do add a layer and call it, so by clicking add a layer, I get an untitled layer. So I'm going to click on untitled layer and I'm going to call it buildings. 
because this is our favorite college towns map. So I'm going to label some buildings. So I'm going to save that. And then I'm going to come over here and let me see if I can find it up the hill. Here we go. Uh, so I want to drop a pin in the buildings layer. So you got to make sure which layer you're in. The blue line over here is indicating that I'm in the stadiums layer. If I click down here in buildings, now I'm in the buildings layer. If I need to move something, so if I put this in the wrong layer, I can click and drag it. Just like that. And move layers. So if you put something in the wrong layer, it's not the end of the world. You can just click and drag it to the right layer. But if you click on the layer you want and then go to, to where you drop your pin, it, uh, it, it just puts it in the right layer to begin with. And so there's the stadium. Here we are. So I'm going to put old H. Johnstone E. No longer exists. That is where I went to college. That's where I stayed my freshman year. It has been torn down and rebuilt. But I'm dropping a pin there because it was one of my favorite buildings while it still stood. And so now I have two pins on here. And we can do a couple things now that we have a couple places. One, we can measure the distance between these two places. So all I got to do is click the ruler. And I can click where I want to start from and move the mouse. And I'm not clicking and dragging. I'm just moving the mouse. And I can see that that's 1,100 feet. Um, if we get further than feet, it'll start measuring in miles. So from the stadium to Sykes Hall is almost a half a mile. And so we can see that and we can actually click and if I wanted to go somewhere else. So I can I can change how I, I'm doing this and we can come back to here. And now I can measure that that is 11 acres within there. So I can measure area. Um, I can measure distances and all that kind of stuff. And if I want to get out of it, I just click off and it doesn't stay there. That's not part of the permanent map system. Um, that's just something you can do on any map at any time. What you can make permanent is lines. So if I click on the draw line, I get the option to add a line or a shape, driving route, biking route, walking route. I want to add a line or shape, but I want to show you how these others work too. So I'm just going to do a walking route real quick. I'm going to click on that and I'm going to start here at the corner at the stadium and I want to walk to my old dorm room. So I'm just going to move the mouse there. I'm not clicking and dragging. I'm just moving the mouse. So you see it automatically drew the path. If I wanted to come over here, it's going to automatically give me the better directions, the shorter distance, uh, just like driving directions when you have Google Maps. Uh, so it does those for us. So if I wanted to come here, I'm going to click right there and then it does a point A to point B and it tells me down here just like a Google Maps um, and if I wanted to add a destination I could add a destination there as well if I don't want this I can always come in here click the three dots and delete the layer delete the layer and now I'm back to just having my my original pieces so what I would like to do though is I like to draw a line uh, a line and so I'm just going to click a line from here. So I click once, move where I want to go, and click once. And now I have a line. Um, there we go. And so I'm going to call this to home because uh, that was my freshman home. And I'm going to save it. Now, I could also add an image to this if I wanted to. I could add a video to this. I could add a long description to this. But I'm going to save it, and then I'm going to show you what we can do. I can change the style by doing colors. I can also change the width, make it wider. Again, I can delete it. I can add a video or an image to a line if I want to, um, all kinds of things. So if you're doing something like Sherman's March through Georgia, uh, you can draw lines between the battlefields and, and annotate those, those. It took three days to get to Atlanta and two days to get to Savannah or, or however you want to do the lines like that. 
Uh, another thing I've seen is where Of Mice and Men is set in California and it's real towns. So students have had to trace out where Lenny and George walked between the two towns as they moved around and kind of give descriptions on how long it took and how far it was and that kind of thing on the line and then talk about what happened when they got to the, the certain destination. Um, so there's all kind of uses in English and social studies, obviously, because it's maps. It's easy to use maps with social studies. But even in math, we can do shapes, we can do area, we can do slopes. Um, Science, we can lay out stuff in science too. It's it's ubiquitous. It can be used in any cl subject, any class, anywhere. The only thing we haven't looked at is the share button. So if you click on share, this is going to share just like any other Google Doc, um, except it defaults to private for you, which is nice. So I'm going to change that, and you have the same options as you do with a Google document. Anybody with the link, anybody in the district with the link, uh, anybody public on the web. Uh, but if you notice, it all goes to can view. So if we change that to can edit, because if I'm in a class, I'm a teacher, and I want my class to put their input into a Google map or into a My Maps and list their favorite place or where they grew up or where their grandparents came from, then I want them to be able to edit. So I'm going to click anyone with the link, and I'm going to do ed can edit. You can lock this into your district as well. Um, I'm just going to leave it for this and hit save. And now if I copy this URL, I can put it in Google Classroom, I can put it in an email, I can put it in a hyperdoc, I can post it on my website. However you get links to students for use, uh, this link will work and it will take them in here. And unless you lock it into for your district only, anybody can edit it without having to be logged in. Um, it will just be an anonymous addition. If you're locked into your district though, it will make you have your students or whoever it is uh, be required to be logged in with your district's uh, Google account. So um, just keep that in mind if you want parents perhaps to fill out a map uh, as part of a project. Getting them involved is a great idea. This would be an easy way for parents to get involved. Um, but just remember you want to make sure that you don't lock it to the district if you want outside people being involved with it. But that's all I got for Google Maps. I hope that you can use it, or my maps, excuse me. Uh, I hope that you can use it in your classroom tomorrow. I hope this was a good, good enough tutorial to get you started. And uh, until next time, thanks for watching.